did he have a gut feeling, though? Did he have a gut feeling that this could be um, Jesse Matthews? I'm not going to answer for him and his gut feeling. I hate to tell you that, but I'm not. I cannot do that. How long you know, has he worked for the department? Uh, he's worked for the department several years, and prior to that, he worked for Galveston PD right next door and retired from there and then came to work over for the sheriff's office at that point. He is a seasoned officer, very respected, and again, I'd like you to respect his wishes. Could you arrest me without any incident? Anything happened? Did it go smoothly? It appeared to yes. And what kinds of things you said that he gave false information? Did he give a false name, false ID? At this time, those issues that you're discussing right now, I want to not answer that question until I went further with the investigators that are here on the ground to see what information they'd like to release. How because truly, this is their investigation. We are assisting them in whatever we can do to make sure we can find whatever evidence they might need for their case. How sure. crucial was the investigation of publicity surrounding this case? Do you understand the person who gave the tip recognized him from television? Say that one more time. Do you understand the person who gave the tip recognized him from television? How crucial was the publicity surrounding this case to apprehending him? I think it was excellent. And I, I appreciate that individual for making contact with us. Again, there was information about a 911 call. Uh, yes, I believe that individual felt compelled to call us, but there was no 911 call. They called our local number here at the sheriff's office to our dispatch. Are you confirming that that person did recognize him? I'm not sure if she recognized him. Again, I have not communicated with her initially. I'm not sure if she recognized him or the fact of what was going on surrounding him made her feel compelled to contact us. Has he suggested or said he will do an interview in jail with investigators? Who's that? The suspect. The suspect? From my understanding at this time, he does not want to talk to anyone. And he was, um, several individuals called and tried to communicate with him and he declined. So it's safe to say he's not cooperating? I'm not, I'm not sure with the investigators as far as that goes. Other individuals have tried to contact him within our jail and he has refused. Well, Sheriff, you mentioned that Hannah has not been located. Are you looking for her here in the region? We're going to do whatever we can to assist the Virginia individuals in whatever information, whatever evidence we can assist them with to locate that young lady. We're going to do our best. Are you doing it right now? We started yesterday after the uh, arrest of the individual. Do you have any need that she might be here? Sir? Do you have any need that she might be here? No, sir, not at the time. What kinds of things did you get from the campsite? The car mm -hmm. and a tent. Any, any things in the car that you're looking at specifically? They are actually conducting that investigation right now. And are you helping with the investigation or is it just a I hate to tell you, I'm out here with you. Well, is, is Galveston <laughs> investigators helping the Virginia investigators? The Galveston Sheriff's Office investigators are assisting in any way possible. Our ID team is with them right now in the, in the bay. When you said that you, you, you started searching for her yesterday, what, what type of things have you been doing and are you doing now here in this region? Hey, Y'all all discussed this individual's got a 1,500 mile track. So there's a broad area to be looked at from A to B. Was he alone when he was? Detained. Yes, sir, from my understanding. Do you know how long he had been on the beach? Uh, no, I do not know. Hour-wise, I do not believe it was more than a day or two. That, again, is being investigated right now, and uh, we move forward. Has there been any hints at any point of what it is that may have drawn him here, how he ended up here on this particular remote-ish beach? Well, maybe there, after their investigation or, or any t anything he would want to discuss with them, we can move forward. I do not know that answer. Who will be taking him back to Virginia? Well, uh, that's up to the agency in Virginia who they want to send down. Uh, they might do it on their own, which we usually do. Sometimes we get assistance from the U.S. Marshal's Office. Again, I'm not sure be doing that. These three individuals, from my understanding, are not going to be the ones to do that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, administrative segregation. Yes, ma'am, right now. Why 
Um, we're going to watch his behavior. We want to make sure that he's safe and secure, that no one's able to get to him and do things they might. And again, now that after the uh, investigation and after the interview with the individuals here at the, uh, from Virginia, uh, he might be moved into another area. Do you think he might do something to himself? I, 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 can't, I can't answer that. I don't know. Is he still, um, before he complained that he had been taken out of his jumpsuit, Held naked for, for security purposes. Is that still the case? Do you know, or what Not that I'm aware of. What was the um, response when you, when your office called the investigators in Virginia to say we had it? We have it. I think they were ecstatic. Uh, I've got, like I say, several phone calls from the police chief up there. The uh, FBI agents that were working on the case, assisting them, and, and they were all very happy. I'm glad this individual is off the streets if he has done anything wrong to her or anyone else. And I want to thank the individual who contacted us. And again, Godspeed to her family, the young lady's family. Do we know if he was armed and in weapon? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, any other questions I might be able to answer? Will, will the Virginia investigators be talking at all? Will they? Yes. Uh, my. Yes. I, I talked to them earlier, probably about an hour ago, and right now they, they said no. I mean, again, they, they came in town, they wanted to hit the ground running and see what they can do. Y'all all know when an investigation like this pops up, there's a window opportunity to try to gather as much information, as, as much um, data that you can from behind this, and that's what they're focused on right now. How many investigators are there? There's three. One's from the state police, One's from the sheriff's office there, the county, and one's from their local police department. Does he want an attorney, a local attorney, or if he has an attorney back in Virginia, is that person going to apply? To uh, I'm not sure. That's up to his attorney. I know, from my understanding, he has one in Virginia. Right. And if he wants to come down to Galveston, that's, it's up to him. So you keep mentioning this interview, and forgive me, so he hasn't indicated that he wants to talk to anybody else, but has he indicated that he will talk to law enforcement? Well, regardless of the fact, when you do investigations like this, you're going to call him over. We're going to bring him over and sit down in a room with him, and they're going to talk to him. If he says nothing, then he says nothing. If he starts talking to them or communicating with him, then that's fine too. Or he might just say, I want my attorney, and never say another word. Uh, actually, someone already did outside of law enforcement, and um, they asked if we could communicate with him and find out if they would meet with him, and he said no. So. Is that uh, <laughs> Any else? Well, thank, thank you, you all very much. Um, if we have any more information, we'd sure be try to communicate with you again and let you all know. Again, if, oh, two, one other thing, if I can. Apparently, a lot of re records requests are coming through, and for some reason, they're going to the county judge, Mark Henry, and they do not need to go that route. You need to send them to the sheriff's office. That might be Henry Trostaset, but send them to the sheriff's office. Okay. The county judge um, is not the area where that needs to go as far as open records. Never should have been this morning. The information that came out never should have been given to go through that eight, that that office. Mike Bell, at this time, or myself. Mike Bell, the at sign, or Mike dot Bell, the at sign. Um, Co dot Galveston dot tx dot us. Um, if there's more information that we can give to y'all. We'll try to call one. At this time, again, you know, they, they hit the ground running. It's really their case. And I'm just telling you what we're doing and what we're assisting them with. And we're gonna try to do whatever we can for them and their benefit. Uh, we'd like this young lady to be located and we hope it's a, a, a positive ending. But uh, 
again, in, until we work things out and there's something else we can pass on to you, I'm not sure. And Chair, will the Harvey move Again, we're going to work with with Virginia, and if they would like it transported up there, then then yes, of course. Um, right now, from my understanding, they're uh, using the assistance from our ID team to go through it to assist them with gathering whatever evidence may may come out of it. If, was the car the sister's his sister's car, and if so, can she be charged with a crime? I'm not a, I'm not sure if it was positively hers or not, and who purchased it. So I can't answer that at this time. How about whose ever car was? If they gave it to him to get away theoretically, could they be? Well, would charge? they be subpoenaed to come to court to testify why they did what they did? Well, that's up to their courts okay. in Virginia. Well, thank you all very much. Could you do me a favor, though? Honor the deputy's wishes. And I know there's agencies that, that they're calling him, they're texting him, they're going in front of his house. Please, if you're doing that, um, could you please not? Thank you.